In this video, we're going to have a look at how do we solve quadratic equations using the null factor law. The null factor law explains that when we're multiplying two terms and we know the answer is equal to zero, either the first term has to equal zero or the second term has to equal zero. So we can use this null factor law to solve quadratic equations. Now the steps required Step one is to factorize the equation if we need to. Step two is to apply the null factor law. And then step three, after you've applied the law, is to determine your values for x. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. In the first example, we want to solve the equation x minus four, x plus two is equal to zero. Now applying the null factor law, I know that either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Because when I'm multiplying these terms together and my answer is 0, then one of those terms has to equal 0. So now that I've applied the null factor law, I know that x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is going to equal to 4 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is going to equal to negative 2. So for my equation x minus 4, x plus 2 is equal to 0, I know that x has to equal 4 or x has to equal negative 2. So in my second example, I want to solve the equation x squared minus 4x. Now my first step is to factorise that expression. So I'm going to factorise it by taking out a highest common factor of x. So my factorised equation is going to be x and then x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now that I've factorised it, I can go ahead and apply the null factor law. So applying the null factor law, I know that x is going to equal 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0 because there are my two terms in my expression that equal zero. So now that I've applied my null factor law, I can go ahead and work out my values for x. Now my first value I already know, which is x is equal to zero, or x is equal to negative four, which means x is gonna equal to four. So when x squared minus four x is equal to zero, x is going to equal to 0 or x is going to equal to 4. So in my last example, I want to solve the equation x squared plus 5x minus 24. Now, my first step is going to be to factorise that e equation. And to do that, I'm going to factorise it using my three terms method. So I'm going to look for numbers that multiply together to give me negative 24 and add together to give me positive five. And those two numbers are going to be positive eight and negative three. So my factorized equation is going to be x plus eight, x minus three is equal to zero. Now I can apply my null factor law and applying that, I know that x plus eight is equal to zero or x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I can work out my values of x. So if x plus 8 is equal to 0, then x is going to equal to negative 8. Or if x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is going to equal to 3. So for the equation x squared plus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 8 or x is equal to 3. So there are three examples of how we can solve quadratic equations using and applying the null factor law.